Maybe you can get the best shot of the Osprey. Oh. <laughs> oh, I would love that. But first, there's lots of preparation to do. Okay. Are you ready? I'm looking so much forward to that. <laughs> I've traveled to Norway to visit a friend of mine who's an expert in the tracking and filming wildlife. His name is Jastan Hellevik. Together with his wife Mylena, he moved to the most beautiful location in the heart of Telemarken. This is actually the location where BBC and National Geographic has filmed some of their amazing videos of eagles and ospreys. I met Justin for the first time about a year ago when I was here to photograph birds from his photo blinds and what started out as me just wanting to spend some days making a video about bird photography turned out in a quite unexpected way. Our passion for nature and our priorities in life was probably what started the conversations. And Jostein's huge knowledge about wildlife and his enthusiasm in helping me getting the best possible photos changed my trip from being a solo adventure into us working as a team. Yes. Now, I'm just really looking forward to spending some time with Jostein and then I am so excited to see if we actually manage to get some good photos of that osprey. I did that actually with my dad when I was a kid and we were catching the dinner out on the fjord in Denmark. Now we are doing it here in Norway to hopefully catch some fish for the osprey if the osprey is there and if the osprey will come and take them. We are kind of lucky now, Morten. It stopped raining and you know, that's the best fishing weather you can get. I think we are lucky. Good to go. I'm crossing my finger that this plan that Jostein has made, that it will somehow work. But uh, last time I was with him, it worked when we were photographing the jay and the hawk and the squirrel. So I have no reason to not believe in this plan as well. <laughs> I'm putting pressure on you. <laughs> I'm putting pressure. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can be have a good hope that uh, the fish will come in. 
Oh, it's nice. I would love to spend the entire day exploring this area, but unfortunately there's no time for that. Justine needs my help on the farm because there's an important job to do. Something that just can't wait. Did it. We are actually in a hurry, but the sheep don't seem to care a whole lot. But I really think they would if they knew what this was all about. <laughs> the hay for the sheep and the horses has been cut a while ago and it has been drying on the field for some weeks now. This might be the last day without rain and we need to get it inside the barn before it's too late. Jostein only has a small piece of land with hay and it is not worth it to get a big machine and a tractor for just that. Instead, we are doing it the old way, which by the way is also much more fun. With the hay in the barn, it's time to relax, because we have to get up early tomorrow. We need to check our fishing nets just before sunrise, and there's a very good reason for that, which I'll explain to you once we get there. Our plan was actually to get to bed early, but as always with Jostein and me, there was so much to talk about and so many stories that needed to be told. Wow, this was the one thing that we really, really, really needed. Uh, this was perfect. Wow, look at that. Hey, I want to eat it myself. Perfect. Oh, yeah. God damn it, like that. Boy, that was fair. Look at this. This is absolutely what we need. This is the best we can get. The reason why we are out here so early in the morning is because the first thing the osprey will do when he opens his eye in the morning is to say, I'm hungry, I want breakfast. And then he flies out to catch a fish. And it can happen that if there are fish in the net and he comes and see them, he will go to dive and get caught in the net. We have fish in the boat, a net in the boat, mission completed. Now where we have the fish, we are ready for the next step, and that is to see if we can actually attract that osprey. If the fish are gone when we come tomorrow, we don't know if it's the heron or the, the cranes, but we need to know for sure if the osprey is here and if it is the osprey who is taking the fish. This location is selected because it's far away from the nest. We simply want to make an invitation for the eagle so he can decide if he wants to come here or not. He can choose. He can choose, yeah. but the good thing is, regardless what we do, we will not ruin the family life in the nest over there. He is left alone in this beautiful land. and. Uh, if we are lucky, we get rewarded with a photo. If not, we have not destroyed anything. Yeah, so uh, that's good. That's has good. to be yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no other way on that. Should we get them up? Yes, we Perfect. try. <laughs> Come on, me. Yeah, so there. Yeah, voilà. This is extremely exciting. I've never tried this before. Like, I never photographed an osprey. And for me, it seems so unreal that it will come here and take the fish. But, uh, look. Hello. Hello. 
So you little over there. Yeah. 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 Let's hope it's perfect now. How do Tim? Yeah. <laughs> I was just asking if he had turned it on because I have tried many times to put up a game camera and then when I come the day after it's still on standby. It's a bad feeling. I've been there myself, <laughs> but I'm, I can assure you that camera is on. <laughs> Let's hope the battery holds. I just cross my finger and everything that can be crossed that this plan will work. We have done everything we can. Now the rest is up to the big boss, the Osprey. And the only thing we can do now is to wait and hope. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping. Time to get home. Oh. Is that the one for water or for peeing? It looks like the key, a tea cup, <laughs> but you have to work a long time with it. Yeah. Also, I was the water was in there, now the water came up because of the weather. We can have a big problem now, with the camera that is there. What Justin is just telling me now is that we might have a problem with the cameras. It has been pouring down with rain the entire night and that means that the water level in this lake has been rising continuously overnight. Because our cameras are tied to sticks that are in the bottom of the lake, if we are unlucky, the water has do done just like that and we might have lost our cameras. We need to get out. <laughs> if the Osprey has not taken these fish by now, kind of have a a challenge because what else can we do like we can make a big sign saying here are fish come and take them so there's nothing we can do to force that osprey to come down we can just make the invitation for the for the osprey these trousers here are supposed to be uh, waterproof <laughs> but i can tell you they are not i can just feel how water is running down my leg down in my boots and my underwear is soaked can you see any fish? I, I can't. Think, I can't see the fish, but I think I see one camera. The one on the rock. Oh, yeah. there's the other one. On yeah, the rock. There's the other one. Yeah. I don't yeah. see any fish. There. We have all the cameras. Okay. We have all the cameras. But do you see any fish? No. No, I can't see any fish. Oh, this is nice. Now I feel we are 100% sure that there is an eagle here on osprey here because all the fish are gone so <laughs> perfect your i think we maybe can not shoot off up, up the happy new year, new year records because uh, there is other guys yeah. here who like fish you oh. have the little fellow do you know the the black one uh, look like a kind of weasel, weasel oh stuff. yes 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 there's only one thing that can go wrong now and that is that cameras are not working or the, the bird or whatever has taken the fish has come so fast that it, it has not had the time to trigger. But um, let's get the cameras up and see. Oh, crossing fingers. And I'm on the
Nej. Ja, der sidder noget af basker. Det er sandsynligvis en skarv, som sitter på der, kanskje. Ah. For du ser, de træner der, er jo de træner oh, ja. der. Ok, men da går vi på næste. Ui! Hallo. Åh, <laughs> oh. det var den, vi, vi måtte binde sammen for, at den kunne være der. Det, it's almost torture. I just want to get into this camera and see the photos and then everything is just tied so hard together. So here we go. Okay. Christmas evening. I want to look. Norsk kan komme der. Hey, 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 hey! Der var det! Der var det! Der var det! Der var det! Så du det? Ja, ja, ja! Uuuuh! Den troede jeg var! Var det ikke ånden? Jo, jeg troede det var ånden. Der! Ja! Der! Det er ånden! Det er ånden! Wow! Yes! Yes! Da! Da har man! Og der var den igjen! Nummer to! Gud! Det er lige meget løbner. Super! Nå, hør! Oi! Nej, der er den jo! Der er den jo! Wow! Oi! Wow! This day just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better. When I visited Jostein last year, we witnessed a crime scene. Oh shit. Someone or something was killing his pigeons. I'll go and get Jostein. Oh, something happened. Oh, this is a crime. Ah, look at this. And this one too. We set up trail cameras, but had no luck in capturing the guilty one. And when I left Norway, we still had this unsolved mystery. Who was the pigeon okay. thief? Yeah. Jostein now has the answer. And this evening is going to share the story with me. Det var jo en kjempe overraskelse når jeg satt i kamera og så hvem som var og kom inn i det bygget der. Det var helt utrolig. To figure out who the thief was, Jostein mounted several cameras with infrared light in the pigeon's house and left them overnight. When he picked them up the next morning and watched what they have captured, he got a big surprise. Det var en kattugle. En kattugle, og det er aller første gang. Jeg har aldri hørt om det før. It was not the marten or any other mammal. It was an owl. This was a challenge, because how could he prevent the owl from coming in without blocking the pigeon's access to the outside. This was simply not possible. Then he got the idea. Men så kom jeg til å tenke på at løsningen var jo kjempelett. Det handler om lys. What is it that owls doesn't like when hunting? He simply left the light on during night and that did the trick. Så det var jo mye enklere enn jeg trodde. Så nu koser de seg. Ja, ja. Aldri. Jeg har ikke sett den uglå igjen, jeg. Åh. Kjempebra. The owl has not been visiting the pigeons ever since, and once again, everything is peaceful and safe in the pigeons' house.
we had to get up at four o'clock this morning and we went to bed just before two so a little more than two hours of sleep we just agreed that it's not quite enough but uh, we have to get out before sunrise <laughs> now when we are here, this is beautiful. Look at it. to find a place to set up the photo blind but uh, this is not what I want just needs to be a little more dry Now Jostein has placed the fish, so I have to be really quick because he says the osprey can come every second, so uh, yeah. Justine is in place in the other blind. Justine told me that the sound we are listening for is beep 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 beep. If we hear that sound, it's the osprey that has decided that. I've seen the fish, I've seen, I want it, I want it, and then it comes down, so... The camera is ready, fish are placed out there. Now it's just to wait and hope for the osprey. just one sound I really want to hear and that's the beep 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 I just really 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 want to get my first photo of that osprey so uh, yeah everything comes to the one that waits circling around the hole. I don't, I don't dare to move this because I'm, I don't want to scare it. I, I wish I, I want to film it. It's flying back again. Ah. 
damn it. Ah, it'll probably come back. Now. I'm ready. kind of sad because uh, everything here is so beautiful today and the worst case scenario for me just happening the osprey was coming everything was that planned he was high up looking down spotting the fish take a couple of, of circle around and everything is just how it should be and then suddenly he decides for leaving the area he left us and I can't figure out why. I know we are good, we have good camouflage. I know Morton can behave in a, in a hide. So it's not me and it's not Morton, but he decided to leave the area and nothing more gonna happen today. Today is finished. Oh, and I hate to tell Morton the bad news. Hey, Jostein. Hi, Morten. Hi. Du, har jeg litt eller? Ja. Why did that osprey not come down to take the fish? It did actually see the fish because it was circling around and it made its beep 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 sound but as Jostein says, it must be scared of something. On the way home in the boat, we talked about what to do, and our conclusion was that the Osprey needs at least three days to get used to our blinds. The challenge though, is that the photo blinds on land is just the first step in Jostein's strategy to get me very close to the Osprey, and we simply do not have the time to spend three more days on what he calls level one. So we are taking a chance now by skipping this first level. And while it is a bit risky, we do actually gain some extra days. Days that allow the Osprey to hopefully get used to what we are about to set up tomorrow. Så her ude i hjørnerne, det de skal bare lige sættes ned i med rigtig anden sever her. Lige netop. Now we are ready to drop the floating height. <laughs> this is the final. <laughs> I have to admit that if this plan is working, I then believe in luck. Goodbye, little friend. Oi, oi, oi. I am really excited about this. Uh, the most important now is to let the, the Osprey get used to that thing in the water. It's, it, it's a small step, but this is a really important step. Okay. And if it's, this is going well, then it gives us a, a big bonus. Oh, 
Nå synes jeg det er veldig bra å si. Ikke for meg, ikke for meg, ikke for meg. Det er et gammelt sang jeg har lyst til å fortelle deg, Morten. For mange år så er jeg litt usikker, men kanskje en... Gjørstein is telling me the tale about two men who rode to the other side of the fjord at wintertime and stranded there because of terrible weather. Og havna i en forferdelig situasjon. Unable to get back by boat and without sufficient supplies, they had only one choice, and that was to climb the 750 meter high mountain and walk all the way along the ridge to get back to the village. Then Jostein asks me if I'm up for a challenging adventure. He suggests that while waiting for the Osprey to get used to our floating heights, we could follow these two men in their footsteps and try to climb the exact same mountain at the same route that they must have taken. Because there's only one possible way up without climbing equipment. Yes, an arrow, yes, sort of two, two meter. I'm coming from a country where the highest point is less than 200 meters. I'm just so glad that Jostan is bringing me here. He's probably thinking about how do I get that Danish guy up to that top without him dying. So <laughs> now, Morten, we have been friends and done lots of things. Now we are going to do some hard stuff. 750 meters straight away. That will push us. Let's get the backpacks on and let's hit that track. When I was sitting in the boat on our way to this mountain, my thoughts were circling around that osprey and why it decided to fly away. I really, really hope we'll be more lucky when we get back, but now is not the time to think about that. I want to be present and focus on this hike, and luckily there's nothing better to clear the mind than hard work. This is a good example on a special flower living in this nice place with a big... Uh, uh, they have so much sun and so much uh, minerals coming down from the mountain. So this is uh, not a flower that you will find anywhere, just like places like this. It's beautiful. It looks like something very beautiful from Lord of the Ring. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh. And we are going up there and then further behind and further up. We have the most difficult part ahead of us because it's quite steep up there. Everyone in uh, out country near think that uh, the Norway troll is just a fake, but this is the place where they are living. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she... in that mountain. oh shit, do you think he will allow us to go up? <laughs> oh yeah, we are going up on the left side there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's so beautiful. It was just lying here. Uh, uh, like a skeletal, I was say, from a from a raven. Uh, I want to bring that home because it's a good memory from a from a very very nice trip. So it's going to be on my shelf back in Denmark on my little farm. So now I want to secure it some place in my in my backpack. We have estimated the trip to be around eight hours, and with only four hours to sunset. And the most challenging part ahead of us, the clock has started ticking. We really need to reach the top and find a campsite before it's getting dark, because we will not be able to find a safe route in the dark, and none of us wish to get stuck in this terrain. You will make it Yes. 
Det var ikke meget plads i den hule. Good timing, we yeah. need that now. Get up some gasoline. That was nice. I love this. You're going in such strange places and you see flower you would never have seen before. So I had I have to document it. It's not that you have 10 choices. You kind of have to find your way up because most of the places are just too steep. I have no clue how many height, uh, height meters we have left, but uh, one thing is for sure, every time we take a step that goes up, we're getting closer to the top of the mountain. There is my best friend from Denmark <laughs> coming on the top of the mountain. Really yeah. good. Super. This is perfect timing because I have to admit I'm out of energy. I, I am extremely proud of you. <laughs> this is not for anyone. <sighs> yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh then kveld solo. Det er perfekt. Nå, Morten, skal det bli godt med bål, og nå må vi rygge oss til. Inden det bliver mørkt, så må vi have fundet vand. Ja, alt i vand. Ja, ja. Høj. This is a proof of hard work. Det er utrolig, man kan se dalen dernede. Det er litt viktig. Og de sterke lyser der, det må nok være naboen. Bare sidde heroppe, og de, de, altså vi kan se. Good morning. We have had a good night's sleep. There is Jostein, he's just got up also, and <laughs> hey Jostein. Good morning, Martin. Have you had a good night? Yeah, and you? Yeah, perfect. Time to get out from the hammock. A new day is uh, ahead of us, and uh, what I'm looking forward right now is the morning coffee. Thank you. 
litt vanskelig til å bestemme mengden her. Men jeg tror vi kan ha det der. Oi. Skål. 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 Jeg har gått og grublet jeg, Morten, på denne fiskeren. Ja, det har jeg også. Ja. <laughs> I løpet av nattens mulm og mørk om morgenen så grublet jeg litt, og da kom jeg på at kanskje hele løsningen på it turns out that I'm not the only one here who has been thinking about the osprey. Jostein is now telling me that he might have thought out a new way to present the fish to the osprey, a way it just can't resist. The floating height has now been at the lake for almost three full days, and the osprey will surely have got used to it by the time we get there. This is a very exciting way of working with photography, I think. It is like a puzzle where all the different parts have to be in place and fit together. If this new strategy will work or not, well, only time will tell. Skal jeg hjelpe? Nei, nei. Everything is set now. Uh, I can see there's coming in some fog that will just look beautiful. And uh, Morten, he is ready in the floating height. So now it's all up to the big boss, the Osprey. It's magical. It looks amazing. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope that the Osprey will come. 
we can never relax. We need to watch out everywhere. Things can be happening really fast. I'm sitting now on the other side from uh, Morten, about uh, maybe 150, 200 meter. It's really nice for me to, to see Morten now. He's so exciting for this. Uh, I can see it in his eyes that he is uh, he's almost like a child. So I really cross my fingers that he will get succeed now. I, I will think there is coal for him to, to stay in the water, but I don't think he noticed. It's really getting cold. I don't know how many hours. I think around four hours now. And the water is not warm. Just tiny sitting over there. And he has covering a slightly different angle. And he also have a better chance of uh, filming them when they are coming down diving and when they are flying away. When we put our things together, I think we are, we are good. But uh, if we get something, if that sound beep, 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 beep is coming, it all break loose. Everything is happening really fast. This is, yeah, this is just amazing. So happy. My first photos of an osprey that close. We just had some amazing minutes with the osprey coming down, take the fish and gone to the little ones. I think Morten must have wild photos now. <laughs> we are so lucky. Wow. That was really nice. Just without warning this last time, he said beep once and then ping. Sometimes I lost him, Yeah. but he turned around, yeah. come again and give me a new chance. Yes. And, and the photo I was looking for when he was shaking. Yeah. Oh, I, it's in. It's so good. <laughs> it's time for us to relax and get some heat, make a fire, something nice. Yeah. And we can make a new little plan for tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, this was great.
what an amazing experience this was. Not only did I get my first photos of an osprey taking a fish, we were also blessed with the most amazing light and then on top of it all, the fog that made the whole scenery magic. I have to admit that if this was the end of my trip to Norway, I would be more than happy and I honestly do not feel that there's any more I can ask for. Justin, on the other hand, is just as happy for today's result, but he says that we are now ready for the final level and that if the plan for tomorrow works, I will get a rare opportunity to make some very unique photos of this fascinating bird. Now Jostein is leaving for his position. He's on the other side of the lake. Good luck. Thank you, Martin. Good luck to you too. And here's the little floating height. Look who's here preparing the thing. Is the fish? <laughs> Let's get in. My goal for today is to catch the osprey when it's coming, circling around and diving down to Morten, straight in the front of the hide. And another goal is when the osprey is coming up from the dive, I hope that he can fly my way. And I will try to film it in slow motion. So we can just hope that it will happen. We are not sure at, at all.
now we just had a super dive right in front of Morten. I'm so happy for him. <laughs> I'll show you. This is from my spot. Wow. I think he is smiling big now. He must smile now. <gasps> that was crazy. I got s such a fright because there's no way I could see it because it was so fast. And then suddenly I hear like, and I was too late. <sighs> but I got just when it hit the, the water. Whoa, that was nice. Look at this. My heart is pumping right now, like... <laughs> wow, look at this. Here he's coming flying, starting to plan how he's gonna catch the fish. Wow, perfect! Starting soon. There, he's starting. Ah, it's perfect. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. Hello, Morten. That was a great success. Wow, yes, it was. <laughs> and he was flying against the sun here, oh. and shaking when the water was floating around. Perfect. That was teamwork. Ah. I've had Osprey up close. I've had Osprey hammering down the water in front of me. I've had Osprey flying with a fish. And as always in nature photography, Every time I got one good photo, I saw three photos that I did not get. But isn't it just how it is? And isn't that just what keeps us going out again and again and again, chasing that perfect photo? So one thing for sure, I have plenty of good photos of the Osprey, but I'm definitely coming back to do this together with Jostein. I hope you enjoyed going on this trip with Jostein Hellevik and me. See you out there. Bye bye. I'm putting plastic back on the microphone. I'm having trouble. You know, people are calling these dead cats. Now it's a dead wet cat. I would like to use a pre capture. The problem with that is like it's too contrasty. I need to shoot in raw so that I can recover the love of the highlights maybe and lift the shadows. I was thinking about just bringing that drone on the trip because it's light, but then in the evening, like the Mavic 3 classic. I thought that would be better in low light and also slightly better image quality. But on a rainy day like this, it is difficult because two minutes filming and the lens and everything will be soaked. All things packed. Set 9, 2470 here. 180 to 600. This is happy hour. Yeah, this is happy hour. <laughs>